This video tutorial is intended to introduce you to the reporting capabilities of the Fleet Maintenance Pro line of software. The real value of data comes not just in being able to enter and track services, parts, labor, and other history on your vehicles and equipment, but also in being able to create reports based on that data. There are several ways to access the reports in Fleet Maintenance Pro, and you have various ways of sorting and filtering the data in the reports. I will show you the Report Viewer toolbar and what you can do with your reports, including preview, print, email, and save to alternate file format. To begin, click on the Reports button on the main menu toolbar to bring up the Report Viewer window. The left pane includes a complete list of available reports, separated into categories so that you can easily find what you're looking for. Click on the plus symbol to expand the sections and view the subcategories. Click on any report to preview in the main pane. First, check out the view options. You can choose from whole page, page width, zoom to 100%, or choose any custom zoom. Click on the round blue buttons to advance one page at a time, jump to the first or last page, or jump to a specific page. The printer icon on the left brings up your usual printer options such as page range and copies. This is also where you can print to file which allows you to save the report in a file format such as PDF or XLS spreadsheet, the format used in Excel. Check the box next to Print to File, choose the type, and then click the Browse icon to choose the destination file location. Here is a sample of the PDF report. This is your best bet if you wish to preserve the look of the print preview. Note that your XLS options include Data File and Report File. The outcome is slightly different. Here is a sample of the XLS data file. As you can see, the data is in raw format with no column headers or formatting. Here is an XLS report file. As you can see, it preserves the layout from the print preview, but does strip down some of the formatting. Choose whichever option best fits your needs. To the right of the printer icon is the email icon. Click here to choose email recipients which you have already entered into your customer, employee, or vendor databases. Next, we'll look at some of the ways to sort and filter the data in this report. Keep in mind that the sort and filter options will vary depending on which report you are currently viewing, since different reports have different criteria. First, you can choose to show all equipment or only selected equipment. Recall that you can multi-select equipment from within Fleet Manager by holding down your control key and clicking on the units. The blue highlighting in Fleet Manager indicates which units are selected. Second, choose the status, any status, active, inactive, etc. Next, you may choose to limit your results to a specific date range. Put a check mark in the box next to Print Records Where, and then save time by choosing one of the quick options like Current Month, Current Quarter, or specify the exact date using the pull-down calendar. Lastly, the Additional Criteria section lets you choose specific fields and operators. For example, I can add a filter where the field of Maintenance Performed has the condition of like break, the word break. This will give back all results with maintenance performed, including the word break. The list of built-in reports in Fleet Maintenance Pro is extensive. For example, you can go to Equipment and General Information to view key data from your equipment listing. 
go to Fuel and Transaction History to view data such as fill mileage, gallons, price, and miles per gallon. Inventory and Inventory Listing show you your parts database. Some reports, such as work orders open and closed, are only available in the Shop Edition, which also gives you the options of invoices and purchase orders. I have only displayed these sample reports briefly, but you can also view them on our website. For additional information and tutorials, visit mtcpro.com.